Scrimmage number two is in the books for Arizona football, where defense didn't win on the scoreboard, but seemed to edge out the offense. Defensive coordinator Dom Brown is happy where the defense is currently at, with lineman Trayvon Mason and Keon Bars emerging as first-team players. Stanley Berryhill had an impressive week capped by a 70-yard touchdown Saturday night. He attributes his success to really focusing in on all the details. Uh, just trying to learn the offense, really. I mean, it's good to make good plays, but I make mistakes here and there. So just trying to learn the offense the best I can and help other players learn it if they're struggling a little bit. Uh, we have a lot of condensed formations, as you notice, a lot of motioning. We're not in spread. We play with a tight end. But that's, I would say that's the biggest difference. We get to run in space a little bit more, a lot of misdirection stuff, so it's good that way. Uh, yeah, option route, we do this a lot in practice. I knew the hit was coming. I didn't know I was going to stay up. So when I stayed up, I saw a lot of green, and it just took off, tried not to get caught. Uh, just pay attention to details. It's not too complicated, but it's not easy either. So you got to just make sure you know the details because there's a lot of little things that could change one play. It could be the same play, but one little thing could change and it'll change the whole play. So just really paying attention to details and knowing what's coming and listening in the huddle. You know, you hit it on Trayvon. We got bars in there. I, I think those two guys right now, the leaders in the clubhouse, um, we're kind of fooling around with a couple other guys. Ugo, uh, you know, he's, he's, he's doing some stuff that I think is pretty good. But um, though you hit, you hit it, you got the right two guys. Those two guys are clearly our number ones. And uh, then we've got a, a battle going on. Uh, we didn't have JB tonight, which um, obviously is no problem. I mean, it was just a, got a little respiratory, so uh, he, he was out tonight. But I think Parashan's come along on the outside uh, and really, uh, you know, doing some good things there. And he's a young guy now. So uh, we're kind of excited about his progress. You saw Harris tonight. You know, there's a guy, I, I tease him all the time because I go, how many sacks you have last year? And he hates it when I do it because it's zero. So, uh, you know, tonight you saw him. He was running pretty pretty good in the backfield and had some very, uh, very good rushes. Um, Really happy with CY, you know, we've moved him, on, moved him into the kind of the semi-hybrid role as the Viper and, uh, you know, really has taken to it really well. Uh, you know, I think our, corner, our first corners, C-Ro doing, uh, you know, doing and playing pretty good. Even Malik has had some good moments. We're kind of looking at him at, at uh, Nickel. And uh, Isaiah doing a good job on the other side. So, um, you know, happy with that. We feel like we got three guys there and we're trying to develop the fourth. Uh, Safety-wise, JY's doing good. Jackson's doing good. Um, uh, again, trying to develop some depth there and uh, feel like uh, it's going in the right direction. You know, uh, obviously uh, we'll get an influx here you know, in the first week of June, and not just with high school players that are coming in, but a transfer group as well. And I think that'll, uh, you know, fortify us uh, both up front and at the linebacker core. It's fun to be under the lights. It was fun certainly for our guys too. They've had, you know, uh, what was today's practice, 12. So all of their workouts, right, all of the off-season workouts were in the heart of the day. Uh, all the practices have been in the heart of the day. The Saturdays have been in the mornings. So it was great to get these guys under the lights. It was nice to have a nice crowd. Uh, I thought that was really cool that we had a good group that came out to watch uh, the boys play. And um, that's about my positive side. Um, the rest of it was I think we can just get better. I think football-wise, we're, we we're, uh, we're taking steps to get better, we're just not consistent enough uh, every play. Um, obviously, that's why we practice. That's why we have training camp. And uh, I do believe we're gonna uh, be able to continue to improve every single day. Uh, it was fun to watch some of those big plays today, though. It, he's, he's made probably statistically the most amount of plays 
uh, on the positive side and the least amount of plays on the negative side. Um, he's uh, and, and what he's been able to do is he's been able to win a lot of his one-on-one -on -one matchups, which has been good. Um, but, uh, you know, the other receivers stepped up tonight. Uh, Jamari had a very nice catch here in the end zone. Um, I think Booby had a couple plays. Uh, BJ, we tried to hit early on. We hit him a few times, but uh, he had a couple big plays. And uh, tight ends caught the ball a bunch today, too. And the backs are improving. We didn't have Drake out here tonight, but uh, he'll be back Tuesday, I believe. So, um, yeah, I think uh, they're all playing decent. I'm now joined by Matt Moreno. What are some of your biggest takeaways of the night heading into week five? Um, well, I think for me, you kind of touched on them a little bit at the beginning of the video, and, and Don Brown touched on them, Jed Fish touched on them. Um, to me, it's the defense, I think, is the story kind of of spring ball so far, and I think definitely of this week. We saw a lot of different guys making plays, and it wasn't just the defensive line, although that group to me has really been um, probably the bright spot of the defense so far under Don Brown, but uh, it was the back end. You saw some interceptions. You saw some different plays from the linebackers coming up and making hits, tackles for losses, things like that. Um, so I've been really impressed by the defense. I, I think the one question you still have going into the final week to me is the quarterbacks. And it doesn't really feel like anybody's really taking charge and, and saying, oh, this is my job. Gunnar Cruz did some good things, but Will Plummer did some good things as well. So um, the offense, I think, is still trailing the defense. Um, that's kind of how it's been all spring. And so um, four weeks in, I don't think anything's really changed from that standpoint. But I think there is improvement kind of from both groups uh, every day, every week. And so. Uh, it'll be very interesting to see kind of how this last week comes together. Obviously, you have a big weekend coming up next weekend. The spring game uh, should be more fans, going to be a TV deal. Um, a couple famous guys will be in town. And so I'll be interested to see how the quarterbacks line up this last week because this is kind of their last opportunity to show the coaches, hey, I deserve this job. You have Jordan McLeod coming in in June from USF. Going to be another kind of wrinkle to this quarterback battle. But so far, been really focused on Gunnar Cruz, Will Plummer, two Gilbert guys, in-state guys. But... It's tough to say who's ahead right now. I think Gunnar Cruz has probably been the most consistent, but Will Plummer's had some really good moments and he had some really nice plays today. So overall, I think spring ball is kind of just what it is. And I think that's kind of the vibe we got from the coaches uh, this entire week. They kind of know it's necessary. It's part of the growth process. But I think the things they're really going to start picking apart won't come until later in the summer. And then when you get in a training camp, when they know they're going to have to begin ready for an opponent. So I think but right now, they're fine with the progress. I think they'd like to see, at least judging from what Don Brown and Jed Fish had to say Saturday night, I think they'd like to see more. They didn't really necessarily say that, but just kind of their tone of voice and uh, the vibe they were giving off was, I wish it was a little bit better at this point. But, you know, it's a new team. You have a lot of new things they're trying to get done. And so we'll see what happens this last week. But I think they're making progress. And for Arizona, coming off, you know, a 12-game losing streak, any progress is good progress. So I think that's a good thing for Arizona right now. There's only three more practices left, and we'll continue to have coverage leading up to next Saturday's spring game. With Matt Marino for GoEasyCats.com, I'm Kelly Horizon.